Um, so can you go about into um, telling me the process was like for composing the for composing the music? Absolutely. Um, well, we started the show as a one-hour version of the show, and then um, we expanded it. We kept getting bigger and bigger, um, and diving into the, the books and, and trying to figure out the best way of, of adapting it. We're working with very care, uh, closely with um, Rick's agents, Nancy and Marietta, and they were instrumental in helping us. Um, things of trying to figure out how could we do this show with only you know, six actors at the time, now seven, um, but always trying to maintain the spirit of the books and the heart of the story. That was the most important thing, getting the tone right. Um, and once they were happy, the powers that be were happy, we, were, we knew we were, on the right, we were on the right path for adaptation. And since then, it's just been expanding and expanding in, into delving deeper into the story. It's been really rewarding. Do you find like the size of the fandom to be intimidating at all as you were going through it, or were you happy to like? You know, I I I, I love the fans. I love how engaged they are. Um, my job is to, to try to, as a storyteller, to, to adapt, do do justice to the work. So that was my first and foremost thing was how how am I gonna how do these characters speak? How do they sing? How do they they live in this world musically? Um, and that's all I focused on. And I think if and again, like Stephen was saying, our wonderful director. Um, you just keep going back to the books, you know, and, I, and whenever possible, I try to like find a line or a, a something that could be used in the songs that would be um, relevatory of that character. Um, so that that's all I focused on, and, and I and the fact that the fans have responded well uh, is, is just means a lot to me. Um, but I, yeah, I can't think about uh, you know yeah. you're just kind of setting yourself up for you know being compared. So I just wanted to, to do as much justice as I could to the stories. And I had a great book writer. Joe Trace is amazing. Yeah, of course. <laughs> do you know your Hogwarts house? Oh, man. See, look, I was born on Halloween. Okay. I have a twin sister. I, I feel like I'm a Slytherin through and through. Me too. There's nothing wrong with us being Slytherins, right? Exactly. Like, we're right? Green right now. Always representing. You know, I think I wanted to be a Ravenclaw, but I just, I was really bad at math, so. <laughs> there you go. What's it been like? How well received it's been? Did you expect it to be as well received as it happened? It's, uh, you know, it, it, you never know in theater. I've been writing musicals for a while, um, and you never know what's going to hit. I think we knew we were working on something really special, but something that we had done, you know, Joe Trace and I in an adaptation, uh, in, in the adaptation was we we always were coming from a place of this is something that we want to see. This is the show that we wish we had, and we wrote it for ourselves as fans. And I think when you do that, then you know the rest of it hopefully everybody will, will come to it and love it as much as you do but we never know so it's been a, really wonderful to see people accept it and love it um, and that's been it's just a joy but yeah we wrote it for us you know yeah that's exactly what you need to do right yeah, um, yeah. yeah. thanks great thanks, so much. thanks guys